we'd heard about this Bledisloe uh, Cup and uh, because Dave Brockoff kept talking about it and uh, how they brought it home in 1949 or whatever it was and uh, how it was um, so big that it weighed the plane down all this sort of, uh, all this sort of stuff. Um, so it was a bit of a myth from, from our point of view because no one had ever seen it. New Zealand have won it more times than Australia. In fact, Australia has not won on this ground since 1934. The crowd were into it big time would be my recollection. And if, if you get a crowd into it, whatever the game is, and you get the right result, it's a heck of an afternoon, and at the Sydney Cricket Ground, which you know, is such a, I hate the word, but iconic uh, thing in Australian sport. Looking back, I think it was something like 46 years previous to that before Australia had beaten a New Zealand team on Australian soil. So besides the fact that David Brockhoff was the last to win it over there, and uh, there was also this added thing that uh, was the first game the All Blacks had lost for a long, long time in Australia. One of my fondest memories of that is you never really dominate the All Black pack, but uh, at that particular stage we were getting on top of them. And once you start to hear the All Black forwards whinging to the referee, about certain infringements, you know that uh, you're starting to get the needle into them. It's handy, Australia pressing hard here. And here it comes, Melrose, along the back of Slack. Slack the outside centre, caught right in front of the post. Australia looking for this one too, here it comes again on the other side, and a penalty Australia. We played particularly well, and I, I've always thought the first half of that match is the best we'd played uh, in the previous five years. Uh, to their great credit, the All Blacks defended extremely well and uh, we came away with sort of two penalties and a field goal, I think, in the first half. So uh, we got, up, got some points for our effort, but uh, we played particularly well. And the game, I remember, was very fast and, uh, and, and our forwards played particularly well. It turned out, of course, uh, we won the game, I think it was 12-6. And uh, there's that lovely photograph of Brock eyeing off the cup. Someone, I don't know who it was, said, why don't we take this for a run? And, uh, and that's as, about as simple and as uh, uh, unpremeditated as it, as it can be. So Mark picked up the cup and I grabbed one side, he grabbed the other side and off we went. And the boys behind us and rock in the background. So it was, um, uh, it's uh, one of those things that just happens. Uh, and we didn't understand the significance of it and certainly the All Blacks didn't understand it. I remember the security people chasing us. So it was, we, I think it was Paul McLean and myself grabbing the cup and then there was Brock after that and then there was the, uh, the, the security people chasing us to try and get the cup back. Uh, it was good fun.